Several years ago, my brother Matt made me an awesome uh, attachment for my ironing board. So we started out with a normal old ironing board there, and then he took a piece of wood that was two feet by five feet, and here, show me the bottom of it, put on braces, and then it goes right on top of the ironing board, and all of a sudden you have a nice area to iron your quilts. So Anna and Wyatt are going to go about covering it to make it look pretty. So over the years, the ironing pad has gotten kind of grimy. So I took it all apart with Wyatt's help. The first layer is just a layer of batting to give it a little bit of um, softness. The second layer is going to be what they call blackout and it is it will help prevent heat from going through and moisture from going through and ruining the wood and so I got it from my grandma she used to make curtains so blackout on the curtains then the top layer is going to be actually for my grandma also it's drapery fabric and it will just make it look really pretty give the room just a nice little bit of flair. They're going to flatten it out and then staple it on. I'll show you the back one more time. It has braces that go around the ironing board. They are not snug to the ironing board. They're a quarter inch to half an inch away from the ironing board. They're there just for a little bit of extra stability. The board itself is heavy and won't be going anywhere, but it will keep it centered on the board for you. The board is two feet by five feet, and it is a wonderful solution to help with uh, ironing big items, I leave it on all the time, no matter what I'm ironing, and it just, it works wonderful. So enjoy your quilting, and remember, it doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful.